<laughs> My friend Derek says love is the only war worth dying for. But every time I say please come back, I feel like I'm trying to find a dirty needle in a haystack and God knows I can't go out like that. I suppose we wear our traumas the way the guillotine wears gravity. Our lovers' necks are so soft. I lost my head so many times I got sober just hoping my eyes would dry. Still I drink so much in my sleep I can't sleepwalk a straight line to the guest room where collapse hangs so heavy inside her lungs she speaks and her voice trips across her heartbeat. Each word limps into the air. We are gone, she says. I am no mortician. I have no idea how to put makeup on the dead. I have no idea how to unerase. So I just puddle at the door. My face looking like a deck of falling cards. Like everything's been playing me. We tried so hard. But when I said give me a ring, she thought I meant a call. No, I haven't had her number for three years. We've been saying how many times are we going to keep cutting these red flags in a valentine's? You know, all those wars we fought have turned our shine into rust. We can't even touch each other's hearts without a tetanus shot. We can't begin to remember how we forgot there is no shelter in the womb. The heart forms long before the rib cage. My mother swore she could feel me kicking weeks before my feet formed. That's how hard my heart beat. And it still does. But they say the womb is where we learn love, is knowing the cord that feeds you could at any moment wrap around your neck. I hold my breath for the entire 56 seconds it takes her to walk to the window, to stare at the road, to tell me she has nothing left, to tell me we are done carrying our level heads and our tornado chests. And for the first time, I know she is right. As the dawn after our first date, we were so young. I hadn't written an honest love poem yet. I hadn't met anyone I could fall so hard for. To the night we kissed on our skateboard. She teased me for going so slow. I said, I never want to catch up to the letting go. I want the plead in my throat to forever anchor my spine in the seams of your worn slippers, love. Even when that dove crashed through the window, even when our friends said you can call it love. But you know Einstein called himself a pacifist when he built the bomb. When they ask why well, we stayed together for so long, I say, I don't know. I just know we cried at the exact same time in every movie. I know we blushed every day for the first two years. I know I always stole the covers and she never woke me up. I know the exact look on her face. The first night she used my toothbrush. The next day I brushed my teeth like 30 some times because I didn't want to let her go. You have to understand. When it hurt to love her, it hurt the way the light hurts your eyes in the middle of the night. But I had to see, even through the ruin, if what we were burying were seeds. There were so many plants in our house, you could rake the leaves, even through that winter. When I was trying to make angels in the snow of her cold shoulder, she was still leaving love notes in my suitcase. I'd always find them. The day before I left, I remembered a story her mother told me. She said, Andrea, when Heather was a little girl, she couldn't fall asleep without tying a string around her finger that stretched to mine in the other room. All night long, she'd give that string the tiniest tug to make sure I was still there. And when I tugged back, that was love. That was love. As easy as that. Sometimes. Sometimes.